king and queen. This room gives like royalty, like old people. Ouch. You wanna say something? Uh, they said to remind you to enter through the Madison gate for the Sony lot. Sir? I don't want to work it out. Excuse me? They said to enter via the Madison gate for the Sony lot. Oh. I'm not the first man to walk. And I'm not the first man to walk on the moon. That chain, that watch, these badges, and these. That picture is crazy. And that's like a yearbook page that has like other nice stuff. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you too? Nice to meet you. We're going to say it all, all day long. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. We're going to have some fun. Let's do it. Thank you guys. How you doing? How you doing? What's up? I oh, really appreciate it. I love your style and uh, sensibility of time. It just I'm makes me laugh. Nice to meet you. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 How y'all doing tonight? Uh, this is new for me. I see it's new for y'all. Um, I'm excited to see the trailer. Are y'all excited? Yeah! Woo -hoo. Yeah, I've been following the, the movie for a long time. Yes. And y'all had it on Blue Lake. <laughs> None of y'all. Who did? Yeah, to call the police. <laughs> but yeah, so I just want y'all to know this is new for me. I haven't got to see it yet. And yeah, this is, this is, you ready? All right, so I want y'all to make some noise for Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. Make some noise. Keep going. Stand up if you want to. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to scream like you're screaming. Yeah. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Here we go. Thank y'all for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we are very, very hyped. Like, how'd y'all, y'all like the trailer? Did y'all like it? Yeah. I like it. How'd you feel? This is your first time seeing it? Yeah, no, that's my first time seeing it big. So I've seen, I've been watching it on my phone for a week now, but so that's my first time seeing it big. It's, uh, it's, um, I love when a trailer can feel good, but give you, like, y'all have no idea what you're going to see in this movie. It's, it is like the, the storytelling of this movie and, our relationship is is really beautiful and 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 seasoned and th this movie is in in my opinion the funniest of all of them right like the most consistently funny through uh in in this movie so i'm i'm uh I'm very very excited to to be out in the world with this one you agree with him when he says it's the funniest one mm -hmm. uh, it could be yeah <laughs> I, I, I believe so um, yeah uh, they let me, uh, they let my hands go. Yeah, uh, my, yeah. In this movie, so uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we, we we did a lot of things uh, <laughs> that I think uh, y'all gonna love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this the one that y'all both laughed at most of the time, like on set, it was hard to get it together. Yeah, that, that man right there is mm -hmm. a comedic genius, you know? Woo! It's like, like I need to, you know, I need the script to, to work off of and stuff like that. And Martin can just go, right? Like I've never been an actor that can just, just go. So it's always fun for me to watch when somebody can just like, you know, jazz freestyle comedy, you know? So it's, uh, it's well, always Will fun to watch. Me, he was giving me so many good lines and mm -hmm. everything to say. So you should add this here or you should say this here and everything. And it, it, this just was stuff that, that was just on point and just help my character. Yeah. And uh, that's why I think it's, it's uh, very funny in the, in the movie. Yeah, no, we had, we had such, a, such a good time uh, making this movie, man. It, it's like, what I would wanna say to, to all of you, first of all, thank you for 
doing this. It's like, you know, I spend, yeah, so I, I, I uh, you know, I spend most of my life watching the stuff y'all do to try to figure out the next thing I'm gonna do. Um, <laughs> you know, so, you know, it's a thank you all for doing this. And one of the big things that I learned making this movie that I would like to, to say to all of you, um, on Bad Boys 1, we were together, we were, you know, in our 20s, and we had these big dreams of where we were going and what we wanted to do and all of that. And our mindset was forward, you know, what, what we gonna be when we do something. And now we've been out here and we've been looking back at the pictures of Bad Boys 1 and Bad Boys 2, and we were building our lives not realizing we were in our lives. We were building our dreams, not realizing we were in our dreams. You know, so that is the thing I would say to you all right now. You're in your dreams. It's not when you hit a certain number or when the next thing happens or when you get the next. It's like right now. You're in your dreams, right? Yes, there's more things you want to do. Yes, there's other places you want to go, but don't miss right now. Right. And some of the people you're sitting with and you're, you know, there might be some people you met today or people you've known for a few years. Like you're going to still be with some of these people 30 years from now. Right. Like don't miss right now. Don't miss today. Don't miss this opportunity. Don't miss this moment. You're in your dreams, you know, and it's like that was one of the biggest things for me. And, you know, being back with Marty Ma and. Uh, you know, it was it's, this movie has been such a beautiful uh, revelation for me, you know, and, uh, you know, specifically, you know, coming off of the uh, last couple of years of my life, you know, to to be back with Marty Ma being bad boys. And I saw some of y'all memes and stuff, but we're not going to go into that. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> So I got a question for you. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get it. I got you. I got you. No. Yeah, thanks for the catch. Yeah, no, no, we're here. Right we uh, here. So I got a question for both of y'all. Yeah. Why is the name Bad Boys when y'all supposed to be good guys, yeah. good cops? Why did they come up with Bad Boys yeah. when y'all supposed to be cops? Because Bad Boys are good. They 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 do. They do it the right way, they, yeah. you know, but they bad at what they do. <laughs> okay, I didn't, I didn't see it that way, okay. Yeah, I, I think Run DMC said it best. Not bad meaning bad, but bad meaning good, right? Okay. You know, so it's like the, the, the idea, uh, like the deeper idea behind it is that, you know, the wolves got to know you got a wolf in you, mm -hmm. right? And it's like, if you're gonna face a wolf, you gotta have a heart of a wolf, right? And it's just that the, the bad boys, our, our wolves are balanced with the absolute willingness to give ourselves for others, right? You know, for where- For righteousness. For righteousness, absolutely. You know, to, to be willing to do what has to be done in order that the goodness, the highest good for all comes out of it. I love that. He's going to throw six big words in there. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Try to keep up with it. <laughs> so, and this is something that I always want to know, and I know many other people want to know. We got you from Fresh Prince. We got you from The Martin Show. How did this link up come about? Like, do y'all remember the moment when it was brought to y'all yeah. and it was laid on the table? Like, how did it happen? What did you? Was it over the phone? Did y'all meet, or wow. was it over a pager? We don't know. A like, pager, yeah, yeah, a two-way, <laughs> an old two-way pager. <laughs> I, I, I had had a, a deal with Sony, and uh, and this was a movie that they brought to me to see if I wanted to do, and uh, I just had to find a partner to do it with, and so I was thinking about doing it with Eddie Murphy and all that, but. <laughs> You know, uh, it costs too much. <laughs> so, also, if, if the price is right, it wouldn't be him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I picked the right person yeah, because yeah. Uh, my sister, my sister was the one who told me, you know, you should do it with Will. You know, you, you know, two sitcom stars, y'all coming together to uh, 
meet on the big screen, that yeah. that that could be something special. And uh, so me and Will had a dinner, and uh, after five minutes of talking to Will, yeah, he's the best salesman. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. so, so I couldn't say no, and uh, it's been bad boys ever since. Yeah. And what was your, what was the relationship when you did think of him? Was y'all already friends? Was y'all talking or? No. So it, you know, so it was Martin and Fresh Prince. We both had our our shows, and I was so jealous of this dude, right? Yeah. Like. Oh. Because, you know, so like Fresh Prince was on NBC, so, and it was like, you know, it was, it was the eight o'clock on Monday night, and it was, it was like the, you know, big national show, but Martin was always the people's champ, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> he was the people's champ, you know, so, and it was like, I used to sit and study. I would like, you know, VHS, the things that he would do and how he would use his face and how he would use his body and like the way that he was creating his comedy. He was like one of the people I really studied, you know. So when, you know, he called, I was like, we, we had met each other a couple of times, but we hadn't spent any time. And he invited me to his house and we, you know, we sat down and he said, okay, I got this idea. He said, it's not finished yet. Uh, the, the, the original bad boys were Dana Carvey and John Lovitz, right? So they had had the screenplay yeah. before Martin got it. So Dana Carvey and John Lovitz, that's who y'all would have been sitting here with. <laughs> 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 so they were the original bad boys and they fell out. Then, then uh, Marcus took over the screenplay. So the version of the screenplay that he was pitching to me was written for Dana Carvey and John Lovitz. And so he was like, yeah, so uh, you can't read the script, but I just need you to say, yes, you'll do this with me. And I was like, you want me? I need to say, he was like, come on, man, two, two of the biggest black stars on television. If we do this together, we'll make it right. Don't worry about the script. You know. Like he already heard from Eddie. He was like, I got to get yeah. you right. <laughs> you know, but the fact that we were on TV was the thing that made it that we could take a screenplay that wasn't necessarily... Uh, shaped for us because we were used to doing that tempo yeah. in television. You yeah. get a script on Monday that you can't do, and then you work and you shoot at the end of the week. So we were used to ad-libbing and creating and all of that. So we brought our TV energy to the set of Bad Boys 1. And that's where also uh, Jerry Brookheim went. Yeah, Ron Simpson came in. Yeah. You know, super producers. You know, mm -hmm. you know when they first saw the script, you know, after our table read, they was like, we ain't doing this. Yeah. And they just like, they literally threw, threw, threw it the in script, the trash. Threw the script in the wow. trash. Yeah. And this was y'all first movie, this the first movie ever that y'all did, because from, from mm -hmm. show right into filming, yeah. how does it feel to go right from the big TV show to a big movie? Like, y'all, it just went right into it. How does that feel? What, what happened for me, the thing that I felt is like on TV, you shoot the whole show in one day. When we got on a movie set and like in movie terms, it felt like we were rushing. For me and Martin, we like, we had forever. We only doing one scene today. Yeah. We got all day long to do one scene. It felt like we had the wildest amount of space and freedom and room. We can do different takes and do yeah. all of that. So, you know, everybody around was stressed, but coming from TV, we, we felt like it was a, a new playground. It was wide open. Right. Mm -hmm. So did it interfere your TV show? Uh, no. So you shoot the television show, uh, you know, you'll start sometimes, or back then, you used to, you, you start anytime now, but it used to be through the winter, and then you shoot a movie in the summer. So, you know, it would be seven or eight months of shooting the TV show, and then you'd have, you know, your four or five months to do a movie during the summer. So the reason all my movies came out in the summer during that time is because it was the only time I had to work. So it was downtime from the TV show. So I would work in the summer and then it would take the year and it would come out the next summer and I would do the next one. So that was the, 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 the benefit of being on a TV show. That's amazing. So I got a question for you. We're gonna take it back, way back. Mm -hmm. So it was something that you dropped in the first Bad Boys, the first Bad Boys. It was something that you dropped in his car. Do you know what it was that made him upset? It was a French fry. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And how did that come about? Was you really clumsy and you just yeah. like, nah. was that wrote in there or was nah, that, that you was just... in, That was in the script. Yeah, that know, was a... You know, driving a Porsche, uh, 
You know, he don't have no cup holder and <laughs> all that stuff. So that that was all in the script. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was a fun scene to do, though. But is he really clumsy? Uh, that, no, my, no, my, Money Mine actually is really, really, like, pristine. He likes things to be really sharp and, and, and really orderly, you know. He's like that. What Marty Ma don't like, the two things. Marty Ma don't like you talking loud in the morning. That's what he don't like. <laughs> Marty Ma, listen, I mean, listen, Ma, Ma being in a trailer, and I'm like, yo, what's up? Oh, shit. Hey, Marty Ma, he's like, hey, good morning, brother, good morning. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's the one thing. I got to turn it down like six. I got to turn it down like six notches in the morning. And Marty Ma don't like uh, the explosions on set. Like, he, like when there's going to be something blowing up, you know, <laughs> he don't like that at all. But, uh, but I'm safety uh, first. I'm safety first. <laughs> <laughs> so when it comes to driving, when it comes to the Bad Boys series, it, you was always driving. Mm -hmm. He always needed to stop and do something. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like he needed his own car? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but do you remember in Bad Boys? It went two. It went Bad Boys two. And you were really driving the car. I I literally it, almost killed Marty Ma. No, I, I I might I don't know how, why Michael Bay had a uh, wheel driving car, <laughs> but we was really driving we was the really damn dri car with the. In my yeah, defense, in my defense, there was a camera attached to the side of the car, and it threw the balance of the car off, <laughs> right? So, I mean, the Porsche is designed to do what I was trying to do with it, and we were... <laughs> it was, they go to big words. It was... <laughs> he trying to lose us. So we were coming over the, the scene in the bridge in Bad Boys 2 where they're throwing the cars off the bridge. Mm. So they wanted one with me really driving. Mm. So the bridge goes up and then it goes down on the other side. So, you know, I wanted to get the shot for real. So we get it. So, you know, I crest the top of the hill at about 120, right? And it takes air, right? So it takes air at the top of the hill but because the thing is on the camera, it comes down that way. And we're coming down and all the cars are parked, but I don't, there's no braking. There's no braking. So we're going, we're going and we're coming up like a hundred and plus miles per hour on the back of parked cars. And I like, and it finally, I was like, ah! And then it find, the wheels finally touched and it caught and like eight feet from the back of the cars. <laughs> and Marty, Marty, he was looking. <laughs> <laughs> what, happened, what happened after that? Where you got out the car? Did you need a break? <laughs> he just know. looked at me. I just looked. <laughs> like, you sure you gonna handle this thing? <laughs> It was crazy. Did you yeah, continue shooting? Did yeah, it, yeah. He kept going. No, nobody knew. It was just me. It was just me yeah. and him that really yeah. knew. But uh, yeah, we just we let the stuntmen take it from there. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that, that, one, that one was bad. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. 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 So in the movie, <laughs> Marcus always getting it caught in, caught up in something, mm, yeah. and the gun pointed to him at his head. Mm -hmm. Why is that about? And like. How did you feel in the moment? I think Bad Boys franchise just likes to see me in that situation. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. they, they know they can get some humor out of it. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's, it's cool. Oh, know. we got a great one in this movie. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. We got a great yeah. one. That's like, it, 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 this, one, this one will rank with one of the best ones ever with him having a gun to his head. Yeah, that's, uh, we can't talk about that. That's tough. <laughs> yeah. Well, Reggie, do you feel like she could have picked a better, your daughter pick a better boyfriend than Reggie? <laughs> well, well, as as the movies have gone on and we're on to four, she's picked a good man. Yeah. She picked a good man. Mm -hmm. Y'all will see that in four. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. You feel like she picked a good Y'all gave him a hassle on the phone. Yeah, no, we gave, we gave him a real hassle, but, but uh, you know, in the in the fiction of the film, Reggie Reggie has really been hanging in there. So Reggie yeah. Reggie, we you know, we we accept we accept Reggie. You know you know you got you you can't you can't go against who somebody love. Uh -huh. When somebody loves somebody, if you love that somebody, you love they somebody. You know. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's the best way. So we got a question, a trivia question right here. Trivia. Oh, damn. All right. So the first Bad Boys movie was an hour and fifty nine minutes, and right now. 
How long is this one? A, an hour and 45 minutes? Two, uh, two hours and seven A, minutes? two? Um, yeah, hold on, hold on. Okay, you a, got me. Is it A? You got me. Or two? Okay, I'm nervous, all right? <laughs> Y'all don't understand why I'm in right now. This is, I'm with people I'm like, this is, a, this is legendary. I'm sorry. I don't even get to see my daddy and be happy. Listen, I'm happy right now. Oh, man. Uh, okay. Okay, sorry. No, go. You ain't gonna have it right either. Oh, man, I'm definitely, I'm 0 for 2 as it is. So. All, right. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, so how long was the movie? Number one, an hour and 45 minutes. Number two, two hours and 17 minutes. Three, two hours and three minutes. Four, damn, I forgot what I was about to say. Right. Um, G. <laughs> <laughs> you know how long the movie is? <laughs> nah. Yeah, I don't know I how long. Say, I would say, I would say, I would say one, uh, one thirty, one four. I don't, I don't, re I don't even remember. Uh huh. I have no idea. Two oh three sounds about uh -huh. right. <laughs> or one fifty nine sounds like maybe. So when y'all shooting, do y'all look at the hour like how no, long? No, 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 no. You just you just keep going, and it's about it's about the feel. You want the you want the feel to be right, and uh, generally two hours is what you know you go for. Two hours is usually as long as people can sit there, um, and when you start getting up to you know two and a half hours, and you start getting up to three hours in movies. You, it got to be really good. Uh -huh. It got to be really, it's be good. Really good. It's no, good. it's really good. But these kinds of movies, they they lend themselves really well because you're like trying to push the extremes, you know, the the emotional extremes through action and sound and all of that. And two two hours is a really good limit. When you start getting at two fifteen and two twenty, um, and you also lose a showing. When you know, and that's the thing. Once you're once you're at two thirty, you start knocking your box off. Yeah. Okay, well, y'all make a round of applause for the one and only yeah. Martin Lewis.